Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. So welcome to the start of a quest that I am giving myself. That is to collect as many of the elements as I can. So I'm using this book to help me. This is what I got in the curiosity box. Um, if you also wanted to see me unbox that curiosity box, there'll be a link in the description for that. Yes, yeah, so I've been using this and for the first episode, I have got here all the elements that I just had. Well, at least most of them. I can almost guarantee you there's more, but that's the ones that I have for now. So all through yesterday and today, I've been putting these together. So what I have here is from the left to the right, this is carbon powder. This is pretty much pure carbon. That's as pure as you can get it. This here is gold, gold flakes. This here is americium, which is actually a radioactive uh, element. Except it, this little metal bit isn't the americium, it's actually inside. This is from a smoke detector. It's americium 241, I think, which has a half life of over 400 years. Um, but basically, in this little metal casing, I suppose, there is the americium wrapped in gold um, and so the americium emits alpha particles which is the highest ionizing radiation there is but they run out of energy really quick because they're so big you can't they, they can't they can hardly penetrate through a piece of paper and so penetrating through the gold and then through this metal casing is just won't really happen um, and also if I put this in a another container then it's pretty much perfectly safe but anyways keep going so this here is aluminium this here is lead this is gallium copper and then magnesium so that's what I have for starters I am hoping to like make some sort of like case or some board for them for all the elements uh, this is what I have for now so that's pretty much the first episode, that's all it's going to consist of, just showing you this stuff. Um, but then I wanted to talk about what elements I'm probably going to be staying away from. Well first of all, there are some in the book, some elements that you just physically can't have, because if you find it then it'll just disappear, because they're either so radioactive they break down or for some other reason. but. Um, yeah, and so other ones I'm going to stay away from are things like uranium um, because you need quite a bit of like lead protection to stop the radiation from getting to you, even though it's gamma rays, which is the least ionizing radiation there is, I'm pretty sure. I'm um, still going to stay away from that. And also, I think I might stay away from most of the gases, for instance, hydrogen and helium, maybe oxygen, um, just simply because the... Um, atom is so small it can escape out of most of the containers you put it in so for instance if you ever had a helium balloon um, then after a few days it starts to kind of like sag and then sink to the ground that's because the helium is actually escaping out of the balloon and so hydrogen and helium especially they're really hard to keep so even though they're kind of easy to get oh I could even I can make a video of me getting them but then I won't keep them because it's too hard to keep. But yeah, so that's just a few elements I'm going to stay away from. But other than that, it's probably going to take me a while, but I'm going to collect as many of them as I can. Which will be very... be a fun challenge, but... Um, very difficult. Actually, in one more element here. If you can read this. That is tungsten. I do have this somewhere. I was trying to find it yesterday, I couldn't find it, so that is another one that I do have. I'll have to either get some more or see if I can find it again. But anyway, that is the video. If you did enjoy it, uh, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.